Hello everyone, so today I'll be showing you in this video how to install and customize RPG and Zcator. So I made a quick copy of the top-down uh, character of uh, Epic Games. So it's mostly empty, nothing else. So if you want to add uh, the indicator on your player, it's very easy. All you have to do is to look for the indicator. BPC RPG indicator and that's it. You'll finish the installation inside this uh, little uh, component you have all the the um, function you need to call uh, an indicator and my system will take care of the installation during the gameplay mode so I can do a cast cone server cast cone because it's replicated and we'll just type something like a keyboard one just uh, as an event and then you have those little settings there that you can connect uh, with your own combat system so i can choose is it called by an ally an enemy or a neutral npc or something like that the casting time the range and the angle and then depending on your uh, your game uh, do you want the uh, indicator to rotate towards the mouse or the camera if you are in third person or first person game so i'm in top down right now i'll do a casting time of two seconds the range let's say two meters and the angle 45. i'm in top down so rotate to the mouse come by and let's test that's it, it's working already. So there's multiple function in it inside the component. Wait, not inside the component. You can just call function. So you have the uh, server cast cone. And the show cone is a bit different. The show cone is before you are casting. So it's client side only. You're the only one to see it. And server cast is when you're ready to cast. Uh, it will show to everyone. And this is what you will use on enemies and all. So I'll just show you the show cone quickly. And switch the ability. And you can see the show indicator turning on and off. So I could just turn it off when I release the one button. I turn it on there. I use the camera. My range. Let's do the same thing. Oh, of course I need my target. And here we go. And you see that it rotates towards the camera. Uh, there's multiple function. So you can see it there, but it's also inside the documentation. So when it's called server, that's mean you are casting the, the, um, the ability. And you have the server interrupt to cancel the ability. And those are mostly to help the targeting. So they are all... Um, client side only show range uh, radius and so on uh, you also have the alignment and i'll show you in play mode instead so those alignment are customizable very easy to use and it's all data oriented so i'll show you right now inside the project in, and inside data, you have DT alignment and indicator. So everything that you need to customize your indicator will be inside those two uh, data table. So let's go with the alignment. So you can see there's ally, enemy, neutral. You can add more if you want, if you need. And the settings are all here. So what alignment is this? The color you want uh, for an ally. And I've divided the opacity in three, three sections. 
the main one is is like the the main texture the fill opacity is the the, the circle that fills the indicator over time when you cast and the final opacity is like um it's it's a final touch I mean, it's a multiplicator in the end so this one will be a but a bit more pale compared to uh, another that will be set to one it's all between zero and one and the sort order is used to determine the priorities of an uh, indicator towards another so a, de a dangerous indicator like cast by an enemy will be more important than one cast by a neutral ally or yourself so the enemy will have a higher sort order so you only need to do this once and it's done for your game you're ready to go the next step is of course the visual of your your indicator so this is inside the indicator there so you have the radius cone line target uh, range so you can customize them all in one place and again it will be ready for your whole game uh, you have this material you will most of the time you will not need to change it but the most interesting part is the main texture and the fill texture so I'll show you the asset comes with tons of texture you can use and you can customize your indicator with them or of course you can use your own indicator for this so this one is a more sci-fi collection you have one that is more a fantasy, a magical, and stuff like that. Some are a bit more basic, neutral, and simple mask that I use for, for the tool. Uh, and there's more than uh, 90 texture that comes with uh, the, the asset. And of course, it works with uh, replication. So you don't need to add more logic than what you have right, right now is the is those base ability out of the box will work with uh, the, uh, the 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 other client i take care of showing what needs to be shown and stuff like that and when it's an enemy and so on you have this to change the color and stuff like that and then you connect your spell onto them so that's it for the, um, the the tool feel free to send me an email or contact me if there are anything else and uh, have a great day